I get a lot of people ask me how I get such high FPS in my videos and today I'm going to show you guys. So before the video begins, I just want to say that according to YouTube statistics, pretty much none of the people who watch my videos are subscribed. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video, as well as join my Discord so we can hang out. And also make sure you guys stick to the end of the video uh, if you guys are on Windows because there are a few little extra tweaks you guys can do there. Anyway, with that being said, let's go and run into the settings. Ready you guys, so once you guys are on into Minecraft, you guys just want to go onto your game menu and go into video settings. And this is pretty much where all the changes is going to be taking place. So one of the main things I see a lot of people do is have their graphics on Fancy. Make sure you have this to fast because Fancy significantly hurts your FPS. And the main reason people actually have this on Fancy is for the leaves. If you guys don't know, uh, the default setting for when you change this to fast makes the leaves look very, very ugly. And that's probably a reason why people are using Fancy. But you guys actually, if you don't know, you just go to details and actually ch change the trees back to the Fancy like leaves. And that will keep it like the same and your game will just be running way faster. So the next big thing um, people have is they have their render distance cranked to like 32 chunks or something and they're wondering why they're getting crap FPS. Guys, if you're not playing survival or anything, you, all you really need is at the max 8 and like 4 at like the minimum. Uh, for all my videos, uh, recently I've had it at 4 and you guys can see they look pretty good. Um, and it really, really doesn't matter if you're playing games uh, like Bed Wars or something. Uh, make sure you have your frame rate to unlimited just so you can get the most out of your PC. Um, and make sure smooth lighting off if you guys are using Fulbright. Uh, this setting will just hurt your FPS and it's literally doing nothing, so make sure you have both of these off. Use VBOs. Um, I have this on because it's slightly faster rendering, so you'll see these chunks being rendered faster. And it really, it doesn't really change your FPS that much, but it is a slight bit faster when rendering. Um, a lot of these settings are just uh, preference right here. Uh, same with the brightness and uh, GUI scale. Dynamic lights, turn that off because it also just hurts your FPS. Now, we're going to go into the things that actually really help your FPS. So, if we go into details right here, you guys can copy all my settings right here. Um, so, if you want the trees to still look the same, have them on fancy. If you want slightly more FPS, you can keep them fast or smart. Um, clouds off, that's one big thing. And all these other settings um, really don't matter too much. Uh, but if you just want them uh, the way I have them, then they're right here. Now, one of the big things is animations. If you want the most out of your computer, have them all off. But I find that kind of looks a bit ugly. So I would normally just have uh, these ones on right here. You guys can copy it down. The only ones I have off are like these um, textures animated and things like that, terrain animated. So yeah, um, for the particles right here, uh, you guys can have them to decrease. I don't really see much of a difference when I change the particles, but on low-end PCs, you might. Uh, now moving on into quality, uh, make sure to copy all these settings right here. Um, better grass uh, is like the Optifine grass. You can have this to whatever you want. I don't, except don't really put it to fancy. It really does nothing. Fast looks exactly the same. Same with the better snow and all that. Um, some of these other things are all just based on custom textures for your texture pack. If you don't really care about those, then I'd recommend having them off. Now going to the last main setting right here is performance. And this is where you get the biggest increase in FPS. So on in here, you guys want to have smooth FPS off, um, which means your FPS may fluctuate a little bit more, but you will be getting a lot higher of a frame rate. Um, and then for smooth world, this you actually want on. Now we've got the biggest thing right here, fast render. You want this on. Uh, you can see a slight bit difference in the background just then when I turned it on. This will make your game, you guys can see up in the corner right here, I was getting around 700 FPS. Now I'm getting 1,500 consistently, which is absolutely insane. Fast render is probably the biggest thing you guys should have on. One thing to note, this does conflict with shaders on 1.8.9. It also conflicts with things like inventory blur and stuff, so just keep that in mind. Fast math, you want that on, slightly bigger increase again. And you can just copy all these other things right here. They don't really matter. But yeah, as long as you guys have mostly the main settings that are covered in this, uh, your game should be running a lot better. I've uh, done this with friends who are on bad PCs and they're getting like double the FPS that they used to, which is absolutely amazing. Now, I said at the start of this video that if you guys were on a Windows PC, uh, there was a few little extra things you could do that significantly boost your FPS. And this is just from one Discord server, guys. Okay, so hopping onto my Discord client right here. Um, I'll leave the Discord server in the description, um, and it's called Hone. So Hone, uh, WPC's FPS. 
This is probably the best server if you're on Windows uh, because it has so many tweaks you can do to your computer as well as all the settings I covered in my video. You can actually download a file and run it and it will automatically put them all in your game if you don't want to manually change them. So Hone, I would highly recommend if you're on Windows, you can do so many different things uh, and they just have one simple file you can download and you can do a bunch of different things. And then I did this and I logged back into my game and I was getting like 300 extra FPS. So honestly, guys, I think it's probably one of the best things you could do uh, other than just the Minecraft settings. Um, if you guys have a look right here, there's just so many different Windows tweaks you can do and GPU tweaks and all this. Uh, they're all very easy and they have all these step-by-step -step guides on how to change them and then once you go back into a game you'll see a big difference anyway guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this uh quick little video because i've had a few people asking uh like what settings to use how do you make your game look so nice uh and i thought i'd answer them so thank you guys so much for watching uh i really hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video goodbye i'm getting tired of all the things that i want to see my family want to see my friends have been slept on like my name says and i'm pretty far from being famous but I sure as hell ain't nameless I just take aim, I ain't aimless And I let it fly like a spaceship